Hey there peeps, Mimi here and welcome back to Fortnite! And today we have some llamas to open. Today we got the Legendary Troll Loot Truck Llama and we can get two uh, for 3,000 V-Bucks. 3,000. I hope I said 3,000, but 3,000. And also I have a Legendary Troll Stash Llama to open that we got for free um, after the update. Uh, so we're gonna click it, see what we get. And then we're gonna open the, lo uh, the loot truck one. So let's see what happens here. Choo! I like their little hats. And what do we get? Okay. Ideally, I would like survivors. Legendary survivors would be really what I want. I mean, Epic is fine too, because there's some I just have rare ones on. I don't really use defenders yet. Oh, look! A legendary trap! A legendary sword. Okay, hopefully we get some good perks on them. Um, sword. 15% damage to stun, staggered, and knockback targets. Well, hopefully we can do that. Damage to slowed and snare targets. Okay, so it does damage... To, you know for afflicted enemies basically but I can't afflict them with this and yeah the description doesn't you know this weapon does not I mean it knocks them back knocks them back but I don't know if it knocks them down um I'm probably not gonna upgrade those to be told because I really love my uh, scythe right now totally love my scythe if you haven't seen that full video go and silly ceiling gas trap. Durability, trap damage, trap damage, reload speed, and max durability. So when I look at my traps, I want to see durability, damage, and reload speed. And I'm glad that it's um, this one's doing extra. Uh, so it's doing 25% trap damage total extra. And it's durable. Uh, reload speed is also a plus in the durability, um, extra durability. So hopefully they don't break so fast. Well, <laughs> well, you know, but I like this. I don't have too many traps, so I'm excited to get more. And I think this is my second ceiling trap that I have in general. So, yay. Okay, so now let's go open the legendary troll loot truck llama. They really need to shorten these things. And yes, you can see, it just came out in the last hour. Like, the last 30 minutes. So... Let's see what we get. So, as I've said, what I want to see is legendary survivors or more traps. Some survivors. Survivors is what I want. Legendary ones. Legendary. I'll stop you. I'll stop you. And of course, these go gold. A legendary troll look. Oh, you! I love it when they say you. You know what? You deserve this. I'm proud of you. Gotta get them tickets. Okay. More tickets. Okay, and up a gun. Where's the legendary? Epic survivor. Another epic survivor. I mean, I did want to, you know, survivors. Um, I mean, I do have some blues still in play, so hopefully I can get them with the, actually the right attributes, um, personalities for, oh my gosh, I'm getting so many survivors. And a copper nightclub. Ooh, a floor launcher. <gasps> I didn't have floor launchers. And another gun. <gasps> and an axe. Oh, I get a choice. Okay, choice. Assault schematic or sniper? Assault. Assault all the way. For me. Oh, another choice. Ooh. Copper Death Ray or Copper Death Stalker. Mm. I don't think I have either. So I think I'm going to go with the Copper Death Stalker. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, 
Another legendary choice. Legendary hero or legendary survivor? I want the legendary survivor. Oh, I made a good choice because I just got the death ray. That last one was a death ray, so whoo. Okay, I was, I was semi regretting my choice, but that just made it better. Survivor? Tickets? I need all the tickets. Choices for rares. Uh, sword schematic, hardware. Um, let's go with hardware. I don't think I have all of them. Copper wrench. Tickets. More tickets. Epic Survivor. Choice. Epic or Assault? Um, I'm going to go with Assault. Hopefully it's something I don't have. For that collection book. Ooh, another choice. Bulletstorm or Nightlands? Um, I don't think I've seen this one, so let's go with this one. I'm not I'm probably not going to be using it. But. Um, Epic Survivor. Epic Survivor. I'm glad I'm getting so many survivors. Hopefully, I there's a few, two groups that I don't have all of them, you know, slotted that are epics or they don't have the right one, um, right personalities. So with, for my, my leaders. So epic assault schematic, I think is what I'm going to go with. Oh, a choice. Uh, uh, ray gun or hammer shot. Mm, I'm going to go with this one. Because hopefully I don't have this already. Survivor. We're getting a lot of survivors. Look, we just got the other one now. Wall launcher. I, d I got the floor launcher. Now I have the wall launcher. Oh! Spear or axe. Um, we're going to go... Mm. We're going to go with axe. Another choice. I am gonna go with this one. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. I feel like I have the deer thingy already. Assault. I think I got the Death Stalker last time, so let's try the Razor Blade this time. I'm really interested to see the perks. Ooh, Copper Shredder! Triple. Oh, uh, ah! Electric Feel. Oh my gosh, look at all these legendaries. I didn't get this many. Okay, so I got seven. Yeah, seven here. And two. Oh, seven, seven. I got seven on each. Maybe that's a normal thing then. Okay, so let's look at what all, you know, the perks I got on all these guns. So, Copper, Saptron, um, Damage is Stunned, Staggered and Knocked Back, and then, like, seeing that and not seeing that it afflicts kind of bums me out. Um, but hey, maybe with a perk reroll, you know, what they're doing for the new update, uh, maybe it will be worth looking at later on. So, okay, so I ceiling electric field. Um, I already have two of this. This would be my third. Um, but see, it, it might be better. Crit damage, trap damage, crit damage, crit chance, crit chance. Ooh, so that is 49 extra crit chance. And I wish I could, like, look at it to see what's regular um, is. So 49 extra, you know, crit chance. So if I take it all the way to three stars. So almost half a percent of the time, 50 percent of the time, it will do a crit, and if it does, it will be doing over 100 percent extra crit damage. So I think that's pretty cool. And you know, it's, along with it having that tr 10 percent trap damage on top, normally, I think this is pretty good in my opinion. 
Uh, so I might swap this out. I have to check out which one I have before. So we'll compare. And okay, triple tap. So long durability, reload speed, damage, damage, and this has an element. 10% weapon damage, fire, um, affliction damage for 6 seconds, um, weak to, um, effective against nature, weak to water. Ooh, so I might have to try this out because I have not tried out this gun. It might be worth it a look at. It's going to be doing 35% uh, more damage. It's going to be reloading faster and it's going to be durable. I mean, kind of wish I could change the durable for more damage. Um, but it might be so worth it. We'll, I will play around with it. The thing is, like, whenever I have a new gun, like, it just depends how their fire rate is and how well I manage it. Um, they're really... You know, drive is what I do. Okay, so I wish I could see it bigger. Um, the Copper Super Shredder, um, greater magazine size. Um, it has crit damage, headshot damage, crit chance, and headshot damage. Like, oh my gosh, all this headshot damage. Like, I mean, I know it's a sniper rifle. I have to try it out because I don't think I've tried out a, um, a Super Shredder yet. I think I had one and I, you know recycled it um well that you know just random drop and so it, i'd have to see how easy it is to get headshots uh to see if it's worth it for me having all this headshot damage but you know it has 81.5 percent crit chance <laughs> oh wait, no sorry sorry has 21 extra crit chance to 67 percent crit damage um, I think it has a rather low rate of crit chance, so, I mean, it's better, but we'll have to try it out. See how, how me and the gun fit in. And this one, oh my gosh, reload speed, reload speed, longer durability, headshot damage, and damage. That, all oh, that reload speed. I mean, I guess on one side, are we going through bullets like crazy? <laughs> Uh, copper reference war uh, wrath, durability, heavy attack efficiency, long durability damage, and heavy attack efficiency. I don't understand what um, heavy attack efficiency is because I don't use any axes. Mm, but maybe it is actually hitting the targets? Um, let me know in the comments below what does this actually impact. Um, I really like my scythe though right now. Um, hmm. Anyways, let's keep going. Uh, so wall launcher, 5% um, impact and knockback, 14% durability, 7.5 impact and knockback, 10% um, impact and knockback, and it has reload speed. I really like that it has reload speed on this. Um, I've never had a wall launcher that is legendary, so I hadn't really looked too deep into the perks, but I am assuming that the extra impact knockback is good. Um, maybe if I, uh, and the fact that it's, you know, has extra durability, I think, the, if anything, I think the, you know, if, you know, changing the 5% impact on the first one for more reload speed would have been great. That way I don't have to take it all the way to three stars to be able to get that reload speed. But otherwise, I'm very happy to have a wall launcher. Um, okay, so tickets, tickets, tickets. Uh, let's look at the death ray. So the death ray, it is 14% longer durability, 67% crit damage, 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 and magazine size. Um, so, I mean, it seems like, you know, it seems fine all around. Um, the crit damage, if it was paired with crit chance, that would be great. Um, I, I like seeing crit damage and crit chance together because that, you know, there's sometimes such rare chance of you getting that crit in. So the Copper Deathstalker, um, here we have headshot damage, fire rate, fire rate damage, and weapon damage causes affliction. So it causes affliction, that's good. I wish, you know, I know beggars can't be choosers, but you know, because it does have weapon damage um, that causes affliction, it would be nice if it had um, an element on it, but hey. Um, let's see. Copper Reverend Wrath. Oh, this is the second one that we got. Um, so, actually, that's my fault, I think. Yeah, I think this one's my fault. Because, well, not my fault that I have to book this, but hey, collection book. Um, because I chose on the second one, but am I? Yeah. So, damage, longer durability, 
damage, heavy attack, efficiency, and crit chance. So at least um, there's more possibility of getting a crit, um, a crit hit on this. And yeah, so heavy attack efficiency, I'm not really sure I understand how that affects it. Maybe it's a good thing. It's actually the first time I've seen it, I think. Um, but hey, it's durable. Um, I mean, swapping that durability for something else would be great. Maybe soon. Okay, so copper scooped dragonfly. So durability, crit damage, longer durability, damage to sun and sagger knockback, and damage. This is disappointing. Um, well, you know, it doesn't cause affliction. And that crit damage isn't, you know, paired up with a crit chance, so. Okay, so here, floor launcher. Max durability, reload speed, impact and knockback, reload speed, and max durability. I really like this one. I mean, it, it seems very, it seems very well-rounded. Um, I, I want to know that, you know, the impact and knockback is that, them receiving damage out of being, you know, impacted and not back. I, I need to play around with it because um, I have, since I haven't had a floor launcher of my own or, you know, wall launcher, I'm not exactly sure how they work, but I'm very interested to finding out. Okay, and the last weapon that we got is um, Nightclaw. It has um, longer durability damage, magazine size, reload speed, and damage. Not very impressed. But hey, we got a whole bunch of epic survivors, and that is what I'm happy about here. I had been wanting them, and I, I, can, I can claim 10 blockbuster llamas now, which I will be doing. Not in this video. Okay. I'm, I'm very happy now. But I just want to check real quick uh, my squads. Um, let's see. Okay, can we replace her? We cannot replace her. Um, we don't have somebody with the right personality. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Actually, um, huh. Ooh, actually, let's find out. That, um, other legendary is the, okay. Oh, I think she is stuck. I can't see her because she's stuck in, she's stuck in limbo. So, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's see where she is. Spectre. Um, analytical. We'll just check to see if we could actually saw her anywhere. Um, because I need to go clean up house. I don't... I don't have any analytical leads. I don't. But yeah, I don't have any analytical leads. But hopefully, some of the survivors um, that I got, I can slot them in for my tech part and um, my think tank, uh, because that's the uh, one of the only ones with a lot of uh, rares. But yeah, okay, my my inventory is a little packed, so I can't go and open those other llamas until I clean house a little bit. But Thank you also very much for watching. We have opened, we opened, you know, a couple llamas. Um, oh, I have many llamas. Okay, I want to open them for the gold, truth be told. Um, so we opened the troll stash llama that we got. We also opened both legendary troll truck loot llamas. Um, and we got some pretty good stuff. And, you know, we got some, you know, some survivors. Uh, which I really wanted because it will help me, you know, increase my power level and hopefully, you know, sl move things around in the realm of my of my game. But let me know in the comments below what did you think of um, these llama breakings and did you get anything good? So thank you so very much for watching and until next time, meow to meow.